This one would go with you to the Greenleaf farm. The farmers there were kind when Zamarak passed that way on his return. He would help you convince them to find safety inside the town. Exile. Circumstances force Zamarak to leave the land he loves. This one never imagined returning to elsewhere. But here he is. Zamarak will help, though he prefers to utilize his healing skills over his martial abilities. Zamarak understands, but that may be easier said than done. The last time this one used his martial skills, well, things did not go well. We can discuss this more later. Now let us go help the farmers. The farm lies to the northwest of the town. The fastest way to reach the farm is through the gate in the western wall. Get out! Who are you to burst into our home without permission? Wait, this one recognizes the brawny adept standing behind you. What do you want with Zazie and her family? The Yaraxians are already here! They seem to be searching for something, though so far they have left us alone. But this one's mate and brother, Kinaro and Hirsch, they are still in the fields, and we will not run while our family remains separated. You... you would do that? Thank you, Walker. Kinaro would try to hide, but my brother... Hirsch can be hot-headed, and he hates the Euraxians. A lethal combination when faced with Euraxian steel. Please, hurry. This one's son plans to join the militia. Zazi would rather keep him safe, but... children never appreciate the advice of their elders, yes? A few small caves lie to the west, in the hills. We use them for storage as they stay cool and dark, even on the hottest days. I should be the one to search for father and uncle, not these outsiders. Hey! You'll do no such thing! Stay back! Go away! Have a 
haven't you done enough? Zazi, is she safe? Thank John and Jude. Dark moons, what a disaster. The soldiers appeared and chased us out of the fields. Then they started digging. Hirsch threw a rock. They responded with an arrow. Now my mate's brother is dead. I heard one of the soldiers mention body parts. Such gruesome work. But no one is buried in our fields, at least as far as I know. Oh, Walker, I have no idea how Zazi will react to the news of Hirsch's death. Dark moons, indeed. This one will say the words to guide Hirsch to the sands behind the stars. Thank you, Adept. I'll go and break the sad news to Zazi. We all grieve for her, Shminiza. This one's brother now walks the endless sands behind the stars. Zazi Sorrow is only eclipsed by the hatred she feels towards the Araxians. This one's brother would want us to stay here and defend our farm. Zazi would be a poor sister and a poorer matriarch of this family if she tucked her tail between her legs and slunk away. But... but... Uh, damn you, Walker! We can't even spare a moment to take care of Hersh's remains? No. The living are more important than the dead. We will go into the city. However... If this one gets killed anyway, she promises to haunt you. Ah, Five Claw. Good. I have another task for you. I hoped to catch you before you were done here. I need you to head west. Nalado's scouts identified a number of Euraxian supply camps set up near the mountains. I want you to help Nalado and her soldiers disrupt the Euraxian supply lines. These western camps support the soldiers that encircle the city. Find the camps, startle their horses, and set fire to their wagons. Nalado's soldiers will grab whatever supplies they can, but your goal is to inflict mayhem and destruction. Once you scare off the horses and set fire to the wagons, that will be the signal for Nalado's soldiers to grab the supplies. And if any of the Euraxians complain, Feel free to deal with them however you see fit. Zumog Fum! He wants to resurrect the betrayer from the ancient tales of Kunzari. Ever since Abner Tharn made the Moonsingers recall those legends, we have been haunted by them. But that is the next problem. First, we must protect Riverhold. Do some damage, Five Claw. You were right, Five Claw. They are searching. I was tired of walking anyway.
Sleek and lively. Grab what you can. as much as you can carry. Well done, Pat. Let's talk over there. If those dungheads had proper tails, what we did to their supply camps would put a kink in them. One more small task, Five Claw, if you are willing. This one would have you help the strange one named Cadwell. Cadwell was adamant about helping our cause. He's been tinkering with bits and scraps, claims he's made traps to slow down the Eraxians. If you would, help the strange one set his traps where the Euraxians are sure to spring them. Cadwell works along the main road that heads south out of Riverhold. Make sure he doesn't blow himself to bits, yes? Now. to see you again. I missed you terribly. Now, mind where you step. I had no idea I could make such delightful murder toys. You don't want to stick a toe into any of them, though. Blew my little piggy right off. I can play a loot. Magnificent sword play. My speciality can even make a delicious Daedra heart flambe. But these doodads that go kaboom just popped into my head while thinking about how to help the cat folk. I quite like the cat folk. Wouldn't that be remarkable? Decide you need to know something and it just occurs to you in a flash of inspiration. Chocolate souffle. No, no, it didn't work. More likely, it's something I knew before they chopped my head off and scrambled my memories. Took it right off the old body, yes. Not that I recall details. Uh, probably better that way. Anywho, you can help me arm the last few traps along the road. Just twiddle the spring and tweak the fiddly bit carefully. Watch, I'll show you. To arm a trap, just twiddle. 
<laughs> this bit like so, and... Oh dear. I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I triple when I should have tweaked, just a wee bit scorched, that's all. Well, that's an evil-looking orc, a, a necromancer, I, I do believe. I recognize that tree. They're on their way to Riverhold. That's not good. Not good at all. And I have enough trouble seeing through my own eyes, let alone someone else's. I hope this doesn't become a regular occurrence. The betrayer's head. Um, I'm not sure why we're connected or why it insists on showing me the most disturbing images. I saw an orc necromancer, a dreadful chap. He's coming to Riverhold and he's bringing his nasty undead chums with him. Rubbish and poppycock, that makes no sense. What's it? W w wait, I remember something. The betrayer. Those loon priests called me that right before they... Mm. Well, we need to warn the cat people. The necromancer is coming and he's bringing undead. Well, Queen Eurasia! River hold with cats so bold. I'll see you there if truth be told. and prepare to defend the town. Euraxia's forces are underway. More undead. We must get inside and prepare to defend the town. Euraxia's forces are underway. More undead. Just like at the Defense Force outpost. Regular troops are bad enough, but shambling corpses. They unsettle even the most seasoned Khajiiti warrior. We need to warn Gareshri. Almost. I wish we had another day and another pride of warriors, but our claws are sharp. Finish your business, then tell me when you are ready. We will enter the town, clear the streets, and set the final defenses before we report to Gareshri. Speaker, we have news! Report, Kamira. The Euraxians have necromancers in their ranks. The Usurper Queen dare send undead against us. Find Claw! Find Captain Nalido and warn her! Strike hard! Drive back the Euraxians! Five Claw, did the speaker send orders? Riverhold belongs to Queen Euraxia, cats! Grave robbing cur! Every death is just a new recruit for Euraxia's army! This one hates killing the same fools again and again! This one has won the the necromancer's spell will animate every corpse in town. 
But this one has an idea. Meet Zamarak at the temple, and maybe we can disrupt the spell. to fight this much until I met you. River holds blessed moon pillars. They can cleanse the necromantic curse. This one must be at peace to memorize the inscription. They spilled blood in this sacred place. As long as the necromantic spell remains in place, the dead will keep rising. Deal with the undead while Zamarak recites the prayer. <laughs>
Deal with the undead while this one activates the pillar of the summer moon. Bokri Jashin. Vabakri Frisin. The moon pillars are activated. Riverhold is sanctified. It's working. The dead are dead again. Wait. Something. Something is coming. Dark moons! Dragons! We can't fight dragons! This one will order the retreat. Granted, you insignificant morsels! No. Riverhold belongs to the Khajiit. Kamira, consider your next words very carefully. Now I'll speak the words my people need to hear. We are Khajiit. We are the children of Alkosh, the daughters and sons of Joan and Jod. We do not run, even from dragons. Bolokdan! Prove your worth! Destroy these paltry insects! Stand with me, people of Anequina, for I am Kamira, daughter of King Hemakar! I am your queen! Now, Five Claw! Use the ballista and drive the dragon to the ground! Not even from a dragon! All hail Kamira, daughter of King Hemakar and Queen Numara! Soon, Rimen and all of Anequina will once again belong to us. The reign of the Usurper Queen nears its end. On this, I give you my word as the heir of Anequina, the daughter of King Hemakar and the true Queen of Rimen. We have plans to make. War Council, with me. The speaker is correct. There's still work to do. Let's convene in Kaharjab Hall.
Thank you for helping defend Riverhold from the Usurper Queen's forces. And killing a dragon! That was... That was amazing! I just wish Chimera had not revealed herself in quite so open a fashion. Chimera is indeed the daughter of King Hemekar and Queen Numara. She alone survived the murder of the royal family and has served as my aide ever since. The man and I hoped to reveal her identity after we had the Uraxia situation more well in hand. A mistake? No. I trust her instincts. She will make a good queen for our people. But Camira lets her emotions get the better of her, and she can be reckless. I worry that those tendencies could end her rule before it truly begins. Yoraxia killed most of the palace staff and quickly spread word that the royal family was dead. Camira hid in plain sight, often working far from Rimen and her pendant protects her from magical detection. Now, talk to Tharn. Plans must be made. You killed a dragon. Impressive, but don't let it go to your head. It was just one, and not even that large of a specimen. Plus, of course, no one will remember your feat. They're all going to be talking about the return of their queen. I had every faith in your ability to handle the situation. There was no need to intervene and tarnish your moment of glory. Besides, my considerable strategic skills serve the Khajiiti cause better than my battle magic. I leave the mayhem to you. Honestly, I had no idea. Kamira's rousing words were all well and good, but it will take more than inspiring speeches and old siege weapons to take down my half-sister. Based on recent events, only one course of action makes sense. We must strike at Rimen and remove my half-sister from the throne before she rallies her forces. First, however, take this. Compensation for stopping the undead and killing a dragon. My half-sister continues to be an embarrassment to our family name. The time has come to deal with Eurasia. Permanently. Half-sister. And yes, if it comes to that. Euraxia conquered Rimen without authorization. She oppressed the Khajiit, unleashed hordes of undead, and made a deal with the dragons. If we don't depose her, I hate to imagine what she'll do next. Who said anything about a direct assault? Subterfuge is called for. I suggest a small group. Slip into the palace, locate Euraxia, and remove her from the throne by any means necessary. Talk to Garish Reed. He knows someone who can get us inside. Now that I have revealed my true heritage, we need to act quickly, Lord Speaker. I agree with the Princess. The time has come to remove my half-sister from the throne. Queen Tarn. I have not been a princess in a very long time. I stand corrected. Queen Chimera. You said you had a way to get us into the palace, Lord Speaker? I do. Five o'clock. Let us speak. 